Good morning. Well, another day. It's day day fourteen now. I think. Yeah. No, we're moving right along. I'm gonna gonna be weighing myself tomorrow to see if I've lost an extra couple pounds. So I'm excited to see that. Um, today we're gonna be doing some more of those dynamic legs I was talking about. I think I'm gonna use my sandbag today. It's a little colder out, so I don't want to necessarily go out and mess with that tire again. So uh, yeah. Well, to get the morning started, we're gonna do some uh, meditation silence. So let's hop to it. All right. Well, that's it for uh, silence. Let's move on to affirmation. Yesterday I had them uh, pretty well memorized. Let's see what I uh, what I have today. I am full of energy and I'm using that energy to build my body and mind anew to the best possible shape and condition it can be. The strides I am taking in my life are bringing me to my best possible level of health without the need for medication. The mastery I develop over my health and fitness will directly influence the success I will achieve in all aspects of my life. Awesome. What I like about those and what was kind of caught my eye yesterday was my uh, my you know my big takeaway um, being most of your emotions, positive or negative, are determined by how you talk to yourself on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. So what I'm getting is you know having those positive affirmations are combating you know the negative ones that we have about ourselves throughout the day, which is huge. Um, I think I said in a previous video, you know, it's easy to get down on yourself and to kick yourself, you know, and be like, oh, why didn't I do that? That's stupid. Um, that or something like, oh, I hate everything, <laughs> right? Uh, but combating that with a positive affirmation, something along the lines of, you know, the mastery I develop over my health and fitness will directly influence the success I will achieve in all aspects of my life. Well, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing negative about that. So constant, constant positive maybe it leads me somewhere, somewhere better. So. Anyway, on the visualization. <clears throat> Under 300 pounds. I'm going to find out tomorrow if I'm any closer to that goal. I think I, think I am. Um, I want to just chip away at it. Like I said, two, three pounds a week would be perfect. Um, but anyway, let's start there. Yeah, no, that one. That one, I just got to put in the effort and I can get there. There's nothing to stop me but myself. So, um, one thing, you know, the, the, with the lifting and everything, just starting to build more muscle, uh, get stronger. It's going to help me burn more calories, help me lose more weight. So it's a compounding, snowballing effect. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and I'll get there. Um, the Miracle Morning every day for 365 days and uh, 365 videos made. I mean, they're directly correlated. Um, I'm doing one right along with the other one. So, yep. Been uh, been doing it solid for two weeks now. They say you know it could take you like 21 days or something like that for it to become habit. Well, I mean it kind of already is. You know I've, I've I've had no issue getting up the last few days and coming down, and hopping right into it. So we'll see um, if it gets easier and easier over time. Well, I don't know how it's going to get easier, but you know more power, awesome. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited about this one. Just keep my head down, give me a solid plan, trucking. That's what a lot of us lack, I think, is just a solid plan. Uh, everything kind of stays in flux and out in limbo. We're trying to make plans and they never we never come to fruition. So uh, this, is, this is pretty awesome. Um, 400 pound bench press, 600 pound squat. Yep, that just goes back to what I was saying about building muscle. Um, supporting enough muscle to bench press over 400 pounds and squat over 600 pounds. Uh, that muscle gets hungry. You're going to be burning extra calories throughout the day, so it's going to help you achieve those goals. So it's all it's all linked together, and it's all help it out. And you know, along those lines, my next one's zero medication. If I can get to the point where I'm under 300 pounds, you know, I'm, I'm lifting regularly, I'm exercising regularly, I'll probably be able to get rid of some of these medications. So let's think about that. Yep, I can't wait to be done with those. Um, it's embarrassing when you need to, whenever you're going somewhere, you have to bring a little baggie with your medication and it just, I don't like it. Um, it's embarrassing, you know, so, you know, I just, the sooner get rid of those, the better. Uh, write a book and release a text-based game. Yeah, the book and the text-based game both are, you know, fiction. You know, I'm a huge fan of, uh, you know, sci-fi fantasy, things like that. Um, so, um, what I've been doing is I listen to Audible all the time. I have, um, you know, my earbuds in when I'm working out, listening to different stories, things like that. When I'm driving, it's one of my favorite things to do is just drive listening to a book. Um, so, so I, I look at that as kind of like research because it's helping me um, know my craft a little bit better and what I want to be able to do. 
Um, so just more of that and then putting in the effort, spending time a day, even if I don't get a lot accomplished in like an hour a day trying to write, at least I'll have done it and create that and make that become a habit as well. Um, and then the worms are going to come. So anyway, success at work. Yep, success at work, that's something we can all benefit from, whether you're working in a factory or, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, you know, standing out, doing your best, doing more than what's expected of you, you know, leads to good results. You end up getting promoted, you end up making more money, things like that. Um, talks about it in Eat That Frog. He goes into detail about, you know, different ways to uh, optimize your work time and, uh, you know, help yourself, you know, hit higher goals and higher goals. Um, and yeah, just be rewarded for what you're doing. So, anyway. 50 self-development books read. All right, well, that one, that one's getting closer every day. I'm almost done with this. I might actually finish this today. If not, I'll probably just stick it out and just finish it. Maybe even if it takes an extra couple minutes. So, uh, gonna be finding something else to read for tomorrow and moving forward. So, anyway, let's uh, let's get to it and see what uh, what I can gather today. All right. Well, finish Eat That Frog. Tomorrow we're going to be starting on something new. I'm not 100% sure. I've got a couple ideas on which one to start with next. Just got to pick one. So anyway, we're going to go. We're going to do our um, dynamic leg day. So let's get to it. All right, well, those heavy sandbags, they wiped me out. I tell you what, I think it's like 115, 120 pounds of sand in there. So doing those, it takes the breath out of you real quick. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, got a, quite a bit accomplished with that. Started getting breathe heavy doing it, you know, which is a good thing. I just can't wait till it's warmer out so I can go and I can like push my truck and be outside and, you know, flip the tire back and forth across the yard, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, no, nope, middle of winter, you gotta do what you can do. Um, so picking up a heavy sandbag and dropping it and picking it up again and dropping it and picking it up and again and dropping it, you know, it's simple, but you know, it, it works, yeah. Um, so yeah, but uh, anyway, yeah, that kind of wraps up my day now. Um, I'm gonna get started with some editing and do some writing so all right guys i'll uh, see you tomorrow and take care <laughs>